So you have installed NixOS and now want to update it. Well, as you may already know, all the options and packages available in your configuration come from Nix Packages, the main repository of NixOS. It is hosted on GitHub and is split into two main channels, stable and unstable. The stable channel receives a new major release twice a year, followed only by backports and security updates, making it perfect for servers and desktop use, and the unstable channel is a rolling release that receives fresh new packages every time you update, making it suitable for Linux desktop enthusiasts and developers. To select your channel, you can use this command, I will leave it in the video description. And to update your channel, you can use the sudo nixchannel upgrade command, after which all the future generations you build will use the newly updated package versions. And if that's all you were looking for, great, that's it, your packages are fresh now. However, though this approach may be simple and easy to use, there is a major flaw in it. You see, the core philosophy of Nix is built around declarative and reproducible builds. Your NixOS configuration should always produce the same result on any machine regardless of when you build it. But with this approach, the Nix packages version acts as a machine-specific variable completely disconnected from your configuration, yet crucial to the final result. And that's obviously far from ideal, because as you update, the programs will change, their configuration scheme may change, and though it happens rarely, even NixOS options will change. Meaning configurations written for the old Nix packages versions may not produce the result you expect with the new Nix packages versions. Which first limits your ability to jump configuration versions, though I understand that realistically you won't have to do it that often, but second makes reinstalling and sharing your configuration much more difficult than it should be. Because let's say two weeks ago you set up an epic hyperland rise on your PC and now want to share it with your laptop. However, since your laptop will likely have a different Nix packages version, you might find that some software updates have ruined your workflow, or even worse, the configuration won't build at all. And instead of using your NixOS right away, you'll be forced to deal with these updates now, or have to manually match the Nix packages version, which is just inconvenient. So how do we solve this issue? Well, it's pretty simple, we just have to get rid of the variable and bind the Nix packages version to our configuration, couple them together. And how do we do that? We can use a flake. And I know, I know, flakes can be a bit hard to grasp, but for this use case, it's all that simple. All we have to do is go to the directory with our configuration and run this command. You will find it in the video description. All it will do is create a simple flake.nix file, which is just a file that tells Nix which dependencies to follow and download and which outputs to produce. In our case, we want to follow the latest Nix packages channel and produce a NixOS configuration. And if we take a look inside, that's exactly what we will see. A single Nix packages input pointing at a GitHub branch we want to follow and a single NixOS configuration output built from our existing configuration.nix file. We do not need to touch anything here, and now all that's left to do is run the usual sudo nixos rebuild switch command, or the slightly longer version of it if you have changed your hostname and it does not match the output key anymore. Then wait for it to rebuild, and you will notice a flake.log file appear in your directory. If you know how modern package managers work, then you are probably already familiar with the concept of a log file, package.log.json and cargo.log are just some of the examples you may have seen in the wild, but just in case you haven't, it is basically just a file that you are not supposed to read or edit manually, which records the exact version of dependencies in a project to ensure reproducibility. In our case, the only dependency we have here is our Nix packages, so the only thing our log file will track is its exact version. Meaning now, instead of using the system Nix packages version, our configuration will always rely on the log file version, ensuring that your system can always be reproduced anywhere and anytime. And updating is now as simple as running nixflake update, which will update the log file. And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, especially all the great monthly supporters, your support is invaluable. And as always, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.